Cubs looking to avoid the sweep at the hands of the Pirates. And Chicago turns to Jason Hamill, making his first start as a Cubby on Thursday afternoon. His opposition in this one, Wandy Rodriguez, but he finds trouble in the first as he faces Anthony Rizzo, man at second base, two down. 2-1 to Rizzo. Ground ball base hit left field. It'll drive in the run. Cubs lead 1-0. WGN Radio on the call. Now in the middle of the first inning, Junior Lake realizes he's got the wrong uniform on. That one says Chicago across the chest. This one says Cubs. And a fashion faux pas has been corrected. Top of the second now, leading off the inning for the Cubs is Mike Oltz, the owner of zero career home runs. 3-2 pitch hit in the air to right, down the line. Long run for Snyder. It's got a chance. Gone. Home run to right, opposite field, Mike Old Cubs lead 2-0. WGN Radio once again, first career long ball for Mike Oltz. Now in the third, leading off the inning, the scorching hot Emilio Bonifacio. He sends this one all the way to the wall. It's a double for Bonifacio, second hit of the game. More on that in a bit. He will later score on a double play to make it 3-0 Cubs. So now let's check out Cubs starter Jason Hamill as he faces pinch hitter Jose Tabata, who leads off the home half of the sixth. And Tabata cannot check the swing. That is out number one. Next batter, Starling Marte, also goes down on strikes as the tag is applied for out number two. Then in the seventh, the MVP, Andrew McCutcheon, could not check his swing. Hamill would face two more batters before he was lifted. But later in the inning, Justin Grimm, the third Cubs pitcher of the frame, in some trouble. Second and third, two men away as he faces Tony Sanchez. Sanchez comes through with the big two-out knock. It drives in a pair. Sanchez goes to second on the throwing error by Bonifacio in center, and it's now a 3-2 game. Next batter for the Bucks is Jordy Mercer, but he flies out to right field, and it remains 3-2. Bottom nine we go. Pedro Strope trying to close it out, facing Gabby Sanchez, who pops up the bunt, and check out that collision between Strope and catcher John Baker. They put their heads together, but in a most painful way, but thankfully Baker would get to his feet, the universal thumbs-up symbol, he is A-OK. -okay. Next batter for the box is Tony Sanchez. He lines it back to Strope, and Neil Walker is in no man's land. He is easily doubled off the first base for the game-ending double play. That's how this one ends. Cubs avoid the sweep with a 3-2 victory on Thursday as Emilio Bonifacio collected another pair of hits to give him 11 on the season already. That makes him just the third player since 1900 to have at least that many hits through the first three games of the season and the first one since Cecil Cooper in 1982. The Pirates were denied their first 3-0 start since 2007.